Hi, this is Greg West with Greg West Photography, Architecture and Interior Design in the Seacoast area of New Hampshire. We've been doing architecture and interior design for 30 years. And I'm going to go through a project that we just got from a local architect in Kittery, Maine. The name of the company is Winter Hoban Architects, and they designed this new exhibit for the Seacoast Science Center in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. The challenge they had with photographing the project was the reflective nature of the glossy paint and the existing lighting within the facility. It just did not um, allow them to capture what they needed to capture. So we came in and created this image and I will show you how we did it. The biggest challenge here is the reflective nature of the glossy paint. So in order to overcome that in terms of the existing lighting is to not use the existing lighting. So we used a single source, a three by four softbox uh, with a hot light so that we can see what the lighting was doing at all times rather than uh, using strobes, which would have really probably freaked out the fish and the specimens that were in there. So this was our base shot that we did. And then we started lighting each section. Sections would be described as the right hand wall, the central wall, and the left hand wall. And we captured those ind individually and blended them all together here in Photoshop. So here's the result of um, the capture of the right hand wall after applying a mask. If you take away the mask, you can see how just this area was lit. We captured for just this area. Everything else really didn't matter because of the use of masking. And we did masking on all three layers. So here's the central section, again, with mask and without mask. So you can see that we had to just think about this area only and disregard what was happening in the surrounding areas because we were going to mask it off. It's the power of masking in Photoshop. And then again, over here on the left-hand side, got this horrid reflection of the light and it just doesn't look that good. So again, we used one large broad light source, pointed it where we wanted it to be so we wouldn't have any reflections. And that's what the rest of the shot looks like. Um, and by using a layer mask, we were able to refine it down to exactly what we needed. Once those elements were combined, we pumped up the contrast to give it a little more boost, pumped, a sat pumped up the saturation to give it even a little more snap. And now we can compare it to the original shot, which looked like that. And our final shot came out like that. The client was very happy. It was a successful mission. You always have to think outside the box when you're photographing difficult lighting scenarios. Glossy paint will reflect just about everything it looks at. So you have to be careful where you put the lights so that you um, allow the reflections to go away from the camera while at the same time effectively lighting the area you want to uh, capture. Oh, and then we did one little trick back here. Just kind of darken the window, made it look a little less bright, pull your attention away a little bit less. So that was it, the Seacoast Science Center, before and after. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.